functions. Uh, the first two, the, the first three functions that we're going to graph are going to be review. Here we have uh, f of x equals 3. Now remember f of x, that's the same thing as y equals 3. Okay, f of x and y are the same thing. And what happens whenever we have y equals a number? That's just a horizontal line going through where y equals 3. So this graph is going to look like this. It's going to be a horizontal line going through where y equals 3. Okay. The next one, f of x equals 3x minus 4. Now notice this is in the form y equals mx plus b. Okay. Where, remember, b is the y-intercept. So in this problem, our y-intercept is the point 0, negative 4, and our slope is 3. So we plot the point 0, negative 4, which is right here. Okay. Now, m is equal to 3, or Another way we could look at 3 as it 3 over 1. And now we can finish plotting the graph using the rise over the run. So I start at this point and I, the rise is positive 3. So, so remember we go up 1, 2, 3. And then the run is 1 and it's positive. So we go to the right 1 unit and that would give us another point. And then we go up 3 and over 1. And there's another point. And then we'll draw the line and so our graph's going to look something like that. The next one we have g of x equals 4 minus x squared. Now, we've, gra we, we, we've graphed these before. The best thing to do here is write this as g of x equals negative x squared plus 4. Now, you go ahead and write it with the x squared term first. Now, all we need is our vertex. So, our vertex is 0, 4. We plot the vertex 0, 4, which is right here. And then we draw our axis of symmetry. That's a dotted line. And I know the line's not straight, but dotted line, vertical line through the axis of symmetry. Now we pick an x value and since the x value of the vertex is 0, I'm going to just come over here and pick 1. So g of 1 is equal to, and we can plug it into either one, it doesn't matter, 4 minus 1 squared, which that's 4 minus 1, which equals 3. So that gives us the point 1, 3. So I plot the point 1, 3. And then this is one unit from the axis of symmetry. So I go over one more unit, and there's my other point. And so my graph is going to look something like this. All right, so there's uh, three graphs for a review. Uh, watch the next video and we'll graph some absolute value. All right.